Hello people, the ones who haven't watched the previous videos, here I'm doing a solo round trip of Spain with my motorbike and my tent. I spent uh, the last two days trying to get out of the province of Jaén, which is in North Andalusia. I've been crossing a labyrinth of olive trees and I finally happily reached Extremadura. I don't believe it. I've been crossing mountains that separate Andalusia from Extremadura and the landscape is completely changed and different. Watch yourself. Extremadura is the region of Spain that lies right on the side of Portugal. The name Extremadura is composed by two words. It's my guess. I'm always, I'm always guessing, but I think it's, it's so. Extrema and dura, which means extreme hard. Life here, it has. Uh, it has been in the past and uh, maybe it's still uh, quite harsh over here in these lands where there is really not much. Supposedly this straight road should be this boring, but it's not. I love this landscape. I love that there is nothing at all. You can count more animals than men. There is this infinite prairie and it just feels good. Also passing through this landscape has made me feel like um, I was going to a little version of Mongolia. Here I'm passing uh, over a bridge that is crossing an artificial lake created by a dam, another one and it's a huge one. It covers almost three valleys and it's very very extensive the lake. I'm gonna go and check out a place I found on the map on the side of the lake where I can possibly spend the night in my tent. And here we go, another off-road track to get down on the side near the lake. I just sometimes feel a little bit sore when I walk away. Spectacular place. Second lucky day in a row for tonight. Here is my tent and look at this. Embalse de la Serena. Quite amazing. Good morning. I woke up super early. Like five in the morning but then I managed to fall asleep again and now it's nine a little bit late but fine let's see how is this place in the morning So I can bring all my trash away with me and don't leave anything behind. So any place is gonna be cleaned up. And I wish and I recommend and encourage everyone does the same. Let's go 
to have some breakfast. I'm gonna have breakfast here up the step that goes down to the lake. I'm having peach juice fruit with chocolate chips cookies. Mm. of birds I can hear far in the distance bells of the cows ants are also having breakfast look at what look at what they did I left them a little bit of hummus and they've been working all night converting the cream in, in very small little round pieces more transportable mm. something marvelous This building on the map is called Merendero. Merenda in Italian is the snack you have between breakfast and lunch and lunch and dinner. Merendero sounds really similar. They do something to eat like tostada sandwiches, which means it was kind of place where you could come to eat in the afternoon, on Sunday's afternoon or so. Imagine with, with tables and a view, but now but it looks like it has been abandoned for quite a while. This grass growing in front of the door. I wanted to show you what kind of an artwork the birds have done on this window. Look at this. I think it's amazing. I never saw something like this. They have made like a small wall with holes that are supposed, I guess, to be nests. Look how perfectly round they are. And in this other window, it's even bigger. And it's an impressive work. They could be swallows' nests. I think it would be wonderful to have an active merendero over here. I'm heading to the area of Caceres, but first I want to stop and visit this castle. Yeah, that one. And also this, this little point, the small point you see there, it's like small round Rand. island in the middle of the lake and the road pass on the sides one side for direction eventually you can hike on the top of it and have a fantastic view but i'm not gonna hike in there i'm gonna visit the castle I'm ready to go. That's the, uh, the round island I was talking about. Look at the point. That is the lookup point called Mirador Mazatego. The road all around the round island <laughs> and uh, just cross right in the middle of the lake. I can't wait to get to the castle, which is called... Ah, yes, here it is. Castle of Puebla de Alcocer. And the view is supposed to be spectacular. So I'm crossing the town to get to the castle, which is right over it on the road. Slowly climbing up.
The directions to get here weren't really clear, and also the entrance of the castle is not so clear. Supongo que sea aquí. Ah, qué subida. Hola, buenas. Aquí. A menos un cuarto tienes que salir, ¿vale? A menos un cuarto, ¿qué? ¿Qué hora es? Son las 12. O sea, las 12.45. Ah, bueno, sí, sí, sí. Bueno, gracias. Vale. Subo por esta escalera. Está en el medio. Also, entering inside is not so clear the path to follow. Ay, ay. It seems more like a not yet finished the construction site. Super hot, super humid, more than hot. Wow, when you get to the top, it changes everything. are just ruins. There is not too much left. Let's go a bit higher. Huh. Even though there is not much left, it's very, very beautiful. Both the ruins and the view are spectacular. The view is really worth to come here. You have to pay only one euro, I'd say. It's really worth it. Oh. I have some sense of vertigo. Oh, I can go all the way there. Let's go on and take the entire walk. This is the other side. Ah, this is the road I came from and this is the other side of the view. All of a sudden, I had the idea I want to visit the China Wall. La Muralla Chinese. And this is how you get new inspiration for other travels. I am hungry. And I also, I wish they had something like cafeteria, <laughs> like a bar. Ooh. The steps are quite messy and steep and passing by a narrow arch from up here we have a 360 degrees view of all the territory in this very same lens a movie has been filmed in 1984 The Holy Innocent Los Santos Inocentes una obra maestra de nuestro cine Señorito, yo lo siento más, se me ha vuelto a trozar el hueso. La desgarradora historia de una familia, provocada por la diferencia de clases sociales en la España rural. Unos abajo y otros arriba. The movie talks about the social inequities and relationships between landowners and farmers during the Franco's dictatorships. Not so far in the past as in the 60s. And here it's closed. I went back and got into the tower. I'm entering the tower. Here there are steps going down, but it's forbidden. Possible to go up. The steps are quite steep. No. I'm not sure 
so safe. <laughs> doesn't sound safe. <laughs> see the road I can see where I'm going to go I'm, I'm going back to the village this one then I will reach the other one this one and then I will go straight back to the artificial lake here If you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon!